think that specialty forwards is going to make a comeback. Difficult to like somebody when the entire industry does not. Hell yeah. You got the meat? She got the meats. be in the video y'all are probably wondering why i've been driving well y'all don't know let me start over let me start over. i've been driving the tahoe all week i literally have the only time i've driven my truck all week since monday morning was to take it out in and out of the driveway that's it y'all are probably wondering well why and the tahoe over here has been having issues all freaking week so starting sunday about sunday morning it's been running weird it's been having idling issues it's been it's almost like it's misfiring we checked everything everything from the intake exhaust and you know in, injector just everything the egr valve the mass airflow sensors the just everything i checked absolutely everything on this freaking truck and we could not figure out what was wrong with it and yesterday what's today today's friday yesterday on thursday i took it by magnum to see robbie huge shout out to robbie i owe him some dinner for this he took it by he was sending codes to it i had i had an actual tuner from a from an ls expert it's locally you know a big tuning company big custom performance shop download the tune he couldn't figure out what was going on with it so our original plan was to throw some spark plugs in it that that was going to be our plan we were going to throw some spark plugs in it and we were going to ride it out and just kind of see if that fixed it because I, it was the it was running rich there were some misfires going on i think there was getting too much too much fuel and we, we were trying to figure it out so our first place to start was the spark plugs took it over to robbie at magnum he looked at it one of the intake hoses had come off and was resting up against the housing for the filter there was no way for us to see that unless we just got in and started yanking on stuff and he went to check the mass airflow sensor and bam there we go tahoe was fixed tonight's my last night driving around with it so i had to bring it out to the truck meet tonight on friday night christina should be pulling up with the truck any minute she's stopping by for a couple minutes that is my my weekly update for the tahoe i've been driving the tahoe all weekend let's just say it's it's different you know driving a cam tahoe is definitely a lot different than driving my truck but we came out to the truck meet tonight for one reason didn't we come out for one reason yeah we did one reason and that is because justin finally got his truck lift. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Justin got his Justin got his truck lifted. We were just talking about this. I'm gonna pass the camera off to Justin. And Justin's gonna do the walk around. Oh, you all right? Let's do it. You wanna do it? Here, you wanna do it facing you or this way? I'll do it the other way. You wanna do, do it this way? way? Okay, okay. I'll do that one. Learn, learn me something. Learn right. me something. Tell me what's going on. So right now, we got 24 by 14 on a 38, 13, 50. She got the meat, son. She got the meat? She got the meat. Scrubbing like hell. But we're, like hell. but we're still gonna send it. Uh, we got the nine inch boys. Y'all saw what happened at the last truck meet. Uh, Pandemic Silverado got his lift kit because of me. Y'all remember this, right? I don't need to insert the clip. Y'all remember this, but McGoys, y'all know what the deal is. Come on now. McGoys all day long. It's sitting at nine in the front, seven in the rear. Didn't want to do the add leaf. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I got the. Is that bullet antenna? No, it's not bullet antenna. That is a Walmart special. So I need, I need to get need some bullet. Hook me up. We need to get with bullet antenna. Bullet antenna. Bullet antenna. What we do? Hey, real quick, y'all enter the giveaway. Follow me on Instagram. Follow bullet antenna on Instagram, and then comment below what color bullet antenna you want. From today's video or the video that I dropped last weekend, I will pick three winners between the two videos, and you guys can win a bullet antenna. So comment below. Follow us on Instagram. But LED switchbacks, clears. Uh, five percent all the way around. Excuse me, sir. Are you gonna do five on the windshield? You no, do five, negative. Sir? Come on, I'm doing like 15. That white bow tie just pulled in. I thought you were that wide bow tie. That's my cousin. Okay. My okay. cousin. That's my nephew. Okay. My nephew. Okay. <laughs> I got you. My nephew. I, I called him. I told him there was a meet tonight. My nephew. That, you know, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Alex yeah. With the big truck. Yeah. I told him to come out tonight. Of my nephew. You know, he shows up with the big truck and just shuts <laughs> the whole place down. Shit, I still got all the stock shit in the rear. 
from last night. You should have left them Brand on. Brand new. That would have been kind of cool. You should have <laughs> left them on. No. <laughs> I almost had to put them on because it was rubbing so bad I didn't even make it home. Hey, real shit, real shit though. Justin, I fuck with the truck. Hell yeah. That's so weird seeing my truck pull up without me in it. That's weird, isn't it? Can't have anything nice. Hello. How's it going? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. God dang it. I was getting a good shot too. All right, here we go, here we go. I see wheel lights in there already. Can y'all see in the shop, y'all see the wheel lights in there? Look at this place. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I see fishing YouTubers do this all the time. I'm so excited to finally be able to say it. I'm switching, I'm switching over to the chesty. See how this, uh, see how this audio turns out. Oh, hell yeah. That's a pretty cool spot. What's up, what's up? You doing all right? Hell yeah. What's up, what's up? maybe 2015 GMC Sierra 20 inch lift on 30 by 16 specialty fours that are sitting over there L&M wraps here just wrapped the whole thing I want to say it's this Nardo gray looks really freaking good hey what all did y'all do to this thing I know y'all wrapped it y'all painted the Gen Y hitch so Gen Y hitch is painted um, lift cover is still gonna get redone track bars are getting redone Oh, y'all got to paint the track bars too? Yeah, um, the amp research sets are painted gloss black. The bed caps and tailgate caps are painted gloss black. The Even though we can't wrapped. really see them. <laughs> the whole truck is wrapped out of gray from the original black. Um, That's a tall truck. So they were saying that this truck is only about an inch off the ground. So this is normal height when the 30s and 42s are on it. And that's my truck sitting in front of it and it's absolutely tiny this makes me feel so bad to be honest but this truck i think he bought it this way but 20 inch fts kit Jesus. Oh, okay so seven i didn't know fts sold a damn lift kit that fucking big these wheels are so damn big i don't know if i'd want wheels this big to be honest i don't like price 27 are they really twenty seven thousand dollars yeah, they're one of the one. That's what he's fifteen thousand. For some fucking wheels. I can't I can't imagine spending fifteen thousand dollars on wheels. I just that don't I mean if you got it like that though, you got it. 
Just left the shop. Huge shout out to the boys over there. Make sure you guys go follow them on all platforms, Instagram, TikTok, all that great stuff. At LM Raps ATL. Make sure you guys go check them out. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, so obviously it's a SEMA build. The gentleman bought it from SEMA, I'm pretty sure out of Texas, had it shipped over here. They're in the middle of Daytona Crunch. It's in the middle of getting put back together for Daytona. New wrap new decals, a lot of great stuff. Jim Y Hitch got done. I mean, it looks absolutely amazing. You guys need to go follow LNM Wraps. Make sure you guys go hit them up if you're in this area, you need anything. But let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that they're specialty forged? Or, so apparently that truck's gonna be in specialty forged booth at Daytona. Do you think that specialty forged is going to make a comeback? I mean, those wheels look good. Those guys have put in hours and hours and hours to get those wheels polished and back to where they need to be to be Daytona show ready. Do you think Specialty Forged will make a cunt? I don't know. It's hard to tell. I have always been a fan of Specialty Forged. I, to be honest, I always have been. But it's 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 difficult to like somebody when the entire industry does not. But at the same time, part of what we do on this channel is we're different. And obviously I don't have specialty Fords. I'm a hostile fan. I like hostiles. That's what we're rocking with. Hostile to the end, McGoy's till the end. You guys know what the deal is. But let me know in the comments below if you guys think specialty Fords will make a comeback this year at Daytona. If you guys are going to Daytona, hit me up. I might go. I'm not sure. I know it is this weekend, so I should probably figure that out pretty quickly. But I don't know. Maybe you'll see me there. Maybe you won't. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping back by the channel. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. As always, let's get this bread. Baby, friend, baby. That's what I'm talking about.